Well, please get up, very funny, Mr. Rod Babcock. Thanks, everybody. Hi, I'm Comedy's Ron Babcock. Really happy to be here. Um, are you having a good week? Good. I um, am not having a good week. Uh, my dad turned 78 on Thursday, and I forgot to call him. But he forgot to love me while growing up. <laughs> Actually, um, that joke is completely false. George Vincent Babcock is a wonderful father, and I just sold him out for a paltry laugh in front of a group of people who neither care nor love me. <laughs> my name's Ron Babcock, and I'm a monkey dancing for nickels. <laughs> Yeah, my dad is old, 78. When I was 12 years old, I asked him, I'm like, Dad, I turned to him at the dinner table and my mom, and I was like, you know, am I an accident? My mom turns to me and goes, Ronnie, you were a gift from God. At which point my dad piped up and said, yeah, a gift we couldn't return, just be glad you're here. <laughs> like, awesome, I'll take out the trash, thank you for my ego boost. Mm. I've been doing comedy for uh, a little bit now. As you can see, by the way, I take a mic out of a mic stand. Uh, and it's weird, because when you get in, your expectation levels for success are, like, way crazy. Like, you think, like, a sitcom or a movie or I'm going to headline clubs. I did a show in a bar a couple nights ago where a guy walked by me with a basket of chicken tenders and a beer. And all I could think was, wow, he must really have his shit together. <laughs> like, that's success for me now is a basket of breaded chicken. Like, he had a beer. I'm like, oh, someone has an agent. Like, you know? Like, I was like, ugh. Oh. So I'm very happy to be up here. Um, I'm living down in Los Angeles now because I hate myself. And I decided to take a, come, you know, take the weekend and come up for a break up here. And people always um, name drop, which is really annoying. Like, just randomly in a conversation, just pull out a famous person's name. And, like, it, it's just so annoying because my best friend Johnny Depp does it all the time. <laughs> and it's like, whenever Scarlett Johansson is around, I'm like, dude, come on, chill out, all right? I, um, do you guys mind if I get real with you? All right. Uh, there's a lot of problems in the world today. Um, you know, we got war, we got the whole immigration thing, like people don't know where to stand on it, and like, just, oh, there's just like no one, everyone's fighting. And I thought tonight we could, we could discuss one of these questions and find out. Are you guys into that? Like, let's find out one of these questions. Just, uh, what really happened to the dinosaurs? I don't know either, and I walked in a bookstore and I was like, well, yeah, I'm gonna buy this. So, so everybody can see. And it's like I was reading this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, someone did their research because we found it out. So it goes, some scientists think that dinosaurs lived millions of years ago, long before humans lived on the earth. But the Bible tells us the real story. <laughs> huh. The Bible tells us that God made the dinosaurs on day six of creation week, only thousands of years ago. Do you know who God also made on that day? Adam and Eve, our first two humans, our great, 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 great grandparents. Personally, I thought there were a few more greats in there, but whatever. And I was skeptical, and I could see a lot of people are skeptical, but then I saw photographic evidence! <laughs> that dinosaurs did indeed live with humans! Now, as you can see, dinosaurs obviously respected personal property, because they're on the right side of the fence. You know, the fence that Adam and Eve just busted out when there was no need for personal property, because there was only two of them. And then, you know, when they got tired, they decided to build a dome. One of the most architecturally challenging concepts to render. Yeah, they just busted that out on day 12. Oh, and there's a dog, for no reason. So the book goes on. When God first created dinosaurs, he told them that they could only eat plants. Genesis chapter 1, verse 30. See, citing sources. That's what you do when you have an argument. Now I know what you're thinking. Some pictures show dinosaurs eating meat, and dinosaur fossil teeth look like they could eat meat. No one really knows for sure, but eventually, some dinosaurs probably did eat meat. So you just said nothing. You took a whole paragraph to say absolutely nothing. You know, I think you think some dinosaurs did, you know, eat meat and stuff, but they didn't. Probably. Anyone have a pencil? I want to write that down. 
And if you look on this page, you can see Adam and Eve, uh, you know, obviously health conscious because they're eating fruit. And Adam, you know, like has like a gym membership because he works out a lot. Like, like look at that. I, I don't even know if those muscles are real. Like, and he also has a beard trimmer, which I thought was his little, his little Bob Vila beard. And I was like, oh, that's nice. Someone who wants to look good for his lady. <laughs> And they're like, oh, well, dinosaurs don't really get along with everyone. No, not true again, because here it is, dinosaur and a horse just playing. <laughs> like a little cowboy and Indian game right there in the Garden of Eden, which apparently is extremely desolate on this page. <laughs> so you go through and, like, you know, we have this page, which is, um, they have their, like, page of this is what the Garden of Eden used to look like before sin, which is basically, um, uh, the Golden Gate Park is what this looks like, and it stars the guy from, I don't know how many of you guys played uh, Guess Who when you were kids, but... <laughs> and that little Chaka from Land of the Lost, and whatever that his name was. I was like, wow, he must have needed the money. So, uh, so you get to the part where Noah is telling everybody, like, hey, guys, there's a flood coming. The best part about this page is this guy thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> You are funny. You should, you should be, you should be a stand-up comedian. Noah's like, no, I think I'd rather be a Nazi and just stand like this all day. <laughs> so you go on, and they have like the flood comes, like, and the flood is crazy because there's tornadoes, there's there's the flood, there's volcanoes, and there's a guy who's it's really hard to see, uh, but it's kind of funny because. He's crawling up from, he's like, I made it. And then the artist was like, no, fuck you. There's a cougar right here who's ready to bounce on him. All because of your sin. <laughs> so we get to the end of the book. And I know some people don't like this bit because they're like, Ron, hey, Ron, you're kind of like, you know, I don't need you California liberal coming here telling me how to like live my life. Like, actually, guys, I'm, I'm Catholic. I'm just not fucking retarded. So... Uh, <laughs> But here's where we go. We come to the end, and here's all the different ways the world really ended. There's, it's really cold, and they all freeze to death, and then they have a hunger, a hunger striker. They, they don't eat, and apparently they die and just fall out of the air. And then there's a knight killing a dinosaur. So um, there's a knight. There is a knight. There's a knight, and he's killing a dinosaur. This is a possibility. There's a knight. He's killing him. Do you see what's happening? So it ends with this, the knight killing a dinosaur, it's the same theory as, oh, maybe it got cold, well, a knight could kill a dinosaur. So here's the, here's the justification. What do you think this knight is about to do? Yes, kill a dinosaur. It is very possible some dinosaurs were killed by hunters. Perhaps stories like St. George and the Dragon are really true stories of someone killing a monster like a dinosaur. Listen, I don't want to be a stickler for the rules, but when you have a scientific argument, you can't use the word perhaps. It's just not allowed. I mean, you can't base a children's story in a way of thinking on another children's story. But you know what? Maybe you can. Probably. Yeah, sure. Why not? Thanks very much. I'm Comedy Strong.com.